Good morning. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm trying to find the supervisor. My name is. Oh, hi there. You must be the new employee, right? I'm Dylan. Nice to meet you, Dylan. This is my first time here, but I'm looking for. No worries at all. I'll assist you. I'll give you a tour of the office and the rest of the building. As I mentioned, I'm Dylan, the one in charge here. Really? I was told the supervisor's name is Joshua. Joshua? No, Joshua isn't here at the moment. He's not the main boss. He just handles some checks. But I know everything about this office. I've been here for over five years, so feel free to ask me anything. That's interesting. Your name is Dylan, right? Yes, that's correct. I'm Dylan, the most knowledgeable person in this office. I know everyone and everything. With me, you'll learn quickly. Seriously? What exactly will I learn? I'm a bit confused. Oh, anything you need. I can teach you about the office, the colleagues, or maybe something extra. Really? Okay. Tell me about the office environment. How is it? The environment? It varies. You can have fun if you want. Sometimes it gets stressful, but we have ways to unwind. For example, we sometimes sneak to the bathroom to smoke a cigarette. Smoke a cigarette? I thought smoking wasn't allowed in the office. They say that when you sign the contract, but nobody enforces it. We do it anyway, and nobody notices. You'll find that anything is possible here. I see. And how's the workload? Do you enjoy it? I can't complain. When I started, I worked really hard every day. But over time, I found smarter ways to do things. Now I finish my tasks quickly and have time to relax. That's how I manage to take those cigarette breaks. I'm pretty clever. You could learn to finish your work early too and relax with me. Interesting, but if you finish your work early, why not go out and relax? You are so naive. If I tell the boss I finished my work, they'll just give me more tasks without extra pay. So I don't say anything. I understand. What about your co-workers? Do they do the same? Some do, but I'm the best at it. I should be the boss. How often do you have meetings here? All the time. We have two meetings a week. It's exhausting, but I usually skip them. They're boring. I often claim to be sick or have family issues. For example, I missed a meeting last week for a party and I told them I had a car accident. How do you stay updated with important information then? Most of the time, they talk about trivial things, but I ask my colleagues for updates. But that's boring. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Where do you live? How old are you? What do you do in your free time? And most importantly, are you married or single? I live in the city, I'm 30 years old, and I enjoy going to the beach. Oh, you're 30. I'm 25, 
but I have a lot of experience here and elsewhere if you know what I mean. You like the beach. Great, I love it too. I can take you to a lovely beach down south. You'll love it and I'd love to see you in a bikini. Your body must be amazing. Oh, but you didn't answer the most important question. Are you married? No, I'm not married yet, but I do have a boyfriend. A boyfriend? That's fine with me. We can still go to the beach. We can call in sick. That's not right. Your supervisor might believe you, but what about the general boss? That's the best part. We don't have a general boss right now. He quit last week. They're hiring a new one. The last name was Makke. What a ridiculous name. He must be an idiot. Let's leave before the new boss arrives. By the way, what's your name? It must be as beautiful as your smile. My name? I am Mrs. Roxanne Makke, the new boss of this office. Oh, um, hello, Mrs. Makke. I was just joking. Yes, I'm the new boss. It's quite an introduction, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, Mrs. Makke. I didn't realize it was you. Welcome to the office. Let me know if you need anything at all. Thank you, Dylan. I appreciate it. So, since you're the most experienced person here, could you give me an honest overview of the office environment and any improvements you think we need? Of course, Mrs. Makke. Well, the office environment is mostly positive. People get along well and we try to support each other. But, to be honest, there are a few things we could improve. Well, for starters, I think our meetings could be more efficient. Sometimes they drag on without much purpose. Maybe if we had a more structured agenda, we could make them shorter and more productive. Also, our workload distribution could use some work. Some employees are overloaded, while others, like myself, manage to find downtime. If we could balance the workload better, it would improve overall productivity. I see. And what about the smoking situation? I understand there's been some rule bending there. Ah, uh, well, yes, some employees do sneak off for a smoke. It's just a way to cope with stress, you know. I understand that stress management is important, but we need to find healthier and more compliant ways to handle it. Maybe we could introduce designated break times or areas for relaxation that don't involve smoking. That sounds fair. We could use a proper break room with some amenities to help everyone unwind. Great idea. I'll look into setting up a comfortable break room. What about our team dynamics? Any concerns there? Overall, we work well together, but there are occasional conflicts, mostly due to misunderstandings or miscommunications. Communication is key. We should consider implementing regular team-building activities and perhaps some communication workshops to help everyone express themselves better. That could really help. It would also make the workplace more enjoyable. Exactly. I want this office to be a place where everyone feels valued and can work effectively without unnecessary stress. Any other insights you think would be useful? 
Well, sometimes the equipment and software we use are a bit outdated. Upgrading those would make a big difference in our efficiency. I'll prioritize that. Modern tools can really streamline our processes. Thank you, Dylan, for your honesty and suggestions. It's clear you have a lot of valuable insights. Thank you, Mrs. Makke. I'm glad to help. And I apologize again for my earlier behavior. I promise to set a better example going forward. I appreciate that, Dylan. Let's work together to make this office a better place for everyone. I'll be counting on your support. Absolutely, Mrs. Makke. You can count on me. Great. Now, let's start planning these changes. I'll need your help to gather more input from the rest of the team. Sure thing. I'll get started on that right away. Perfect. Let's make this a workplace we can all be proud of. I'm excited to see the changes, Mrs. Makke. Welcome again and thank you for your leadership. Thank you, Dylan. Together, we'll make this a fantastic place to work.